Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stitch the purl stitch for embroidery. I say that because I don't want you to confuse it with a purl stitch for knitting. The purl stitch for embroidery is quite beautiful. It's richly textured, it has a lot of dimension to your piece, and it essentially, if you look at it very closely, looks like a string of pearls. It's a series of what kind of looks like knots, but they're not knots in embroidery Stitching knots kind of adds a little anxiety to people because knots can get tangled and they're very challenging. The purl stitch makes use of fake knots or actually just weavings. So you make a stitch and you weave your thread through it. It resembles a knot. And if you create them in abundance, well, you get the purl stitch. It's a really pretty stitch that makes a beautiful outline. You can do it on a line or a curve. So let's get started. The embroidery purl stitch is a beautiful stitch for lines and gentle curves. So to make the stitch, I have a line here. Now I'm not going to treat the line as something that I'm going to stitch on. In fact, I'm going to stitch just below it and just above it. So to start the purl stitch, you work from right to left. And you're going to start by pulling your needle underneath that line, just barely underneath that line. And then instead of going straight up, I'm going to go slightly diagonal just a very small amount, and I'm gonna pull my needle through. And then I'm gonna come up again, just next to where I brought my needle in originally, pull up my needle again, and wrap my thread by coming around the top and pulling it snug. That's the first stitch in the line of purl stitches. My next stitch, I'm just gonna pull my needle diagonally into the left again, and I'm gonna match up the height of that line that top of where I made the stitch. I'm going to pull down and then I'm going to come up again right next to where I made the initial stitch on the base. And I'm going to come around weaving my thread through that loop that I made. And I'm going to continue this as long as I want to make this purl stitch. I make my slightly to the left line. I come just underneath it but leaving it nice and neat, the base and the top, and I go around weaving that needle in underneath the thread, but not through the fabric. And it creates this little ridged effect. It's a beautiful stitch. It's great for making emphasized lines and for writing text. It's not very helpful for making small little circles or sharp turns but it's beautiful for gentle curves. So if I wanted to make an outline of a circle, as long as the circle wasn't a tiny quarter inch circle, it'd be a beautiful effect. And you continue this as long as you want. The key to the purl stitch is to make sure all your stitches go in at the same spot at the bottom and the top. That produces a very nice even line. Now of course you can vary this if you want a different effect if you want to make the stitches longer and smaller in portions. But to get that straight line, that perfectly straight line, you want all of your stitches to match. If you want that variation, well then you vary your stitches. Now up close you see a lot of ridges for these pearls, but from a distance it looks like a neat line. You don't want to pull your thread so taut that you're creating tension on your fabric. And that's one of the reasons that it's very handy to use an embroidery hoop for this stitch but it's not necessary. So essentially I'm stitching around that line that I made. None of my stitches are going in on that line. They're going just up, above it, and just slightly below it. And to finish off my stitches, I do my final weave around my last stitch, and then I just bring this needle with the thread right down and knot it off on the back. And then I have a beautiful line of that purl stitch. Now the purl stitch is used quite effectively just as a little decoration. Here I used it on this little stitched corset and it gives a beautiful trim around the edge, a beautiful outline. And another example of using the purl stitch is using it for text. As long as the curves are gentle, you can write effectively with it. And then of course I have the beautiful purl stitch done in different colors. 
So that's a beautiful stitch to add to your repertoire. If you want to use a stitch for an outline, I rank it up there right with the stem stitch or the split stitch. It's that useful. And it just adds a little bit of texture. And the more you practice, the smoother your stitches will become. So that's how I make the purl stitch and that's how I use it in my work. I like it because it adds such texture and dimension. I think it's right up there with the stem stitch or the split stitch to use for making outlines. It's a really enjoyable stitch. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy my channel, please consider becoming a member. I offer behind the scenes videos and some members only videos that form a library. Thanks for joining me today.